The Oakland A's are one step closer to building their Sin City Stadium right off the Las Vegas Strip. The Tropicana Hotel and Casino announced they are closing their doors next week after 60 years to prepare for demolition to the site of the new stadium. The facility will be built on nine of Tropicana's 35 acres and will be home to the $1.5 billion stadium seating 33,000 fans, which will become the smallest ballpark in Major League Baseball. On the remaining land, the infamous Tropicana Hotel will be replaced by a new Bally's Corporation Resort. Construction won't begin until 2025, with the stadium projected to be ready for the 2028 Major League Baseball season. And until then, the A's will be stadiumless. Joining me now is Lorenzo Dumani, a Las Vegas developer, and his family previously owned the Tropicana. Uh, you, Lorenzo, I have to just ask you, what does it mean to uh, see this uh, building go down that is so much a part of your own history? Yeah, you know what? It's one of the last landmarks that remains in Las Vegas. Uh, you know, the dunes went down, the Desert Inn went down. They've all been going one by one. You had the landmark way back in the day. And uh, it's a piece of history. It's nostalgic. And uh, it's it's kind of sad. But, uh, you know, Vegas has changed completely since I grew up there in the 60s and 70s. It's a, it's a different place. Very corporate, uh, very different. And... Uh, you know, it, it, it's just, it's the end of an era, really. And becoming a sports mecca. It, it is. You know, for years, uh, pro sports stayed out of Vegas due to gambling. And then with the internet and internet gaming, uh, first you have the Golden Knights. Uh, you've got the Raiders, obviously. Uh, you'll have the A's. Uh, I think there's going to be an NBA team coming there within the next three years. They're talking about that already. They've been exploring it. Uh, and Vegas being a, a tourist destination, so you get, you know, when you have your home games is one thing, but Vegas has the advantage of all the of uh, the visiting teams want to come there with their with their uh, you know their the with the tourists and their fans. It's a great excuse to come to Vegas for a few days, a weekend, whatever. So it's it's uniquely positioned for professional sports. All right, Lorenzo, I gotta ask you a couple of quick questions here. Sure. You know what Vegas used to be. You see, you've admitted that it's changing. Uh, how do yeah. you hold on to what it was and still be ex excited about what it's becoming uh, while holding on to the memories that you have? Yeah, you know, that's kind of a hard thing. That's like saying, how do you hold on to an eight track tape and a, and a cassette when everything's gone digital? It's a, it, it, it's a different world. All, all you can do is kind of honor the past and and embrace it. And I've got a lot of great memories of Tropicana back in the day. We had people come there and stay there, like Muhammad Ali, who used to train there. Elvis Presley actually would do karate workouts in the Blue Room. Uh, we had the Follies Berger there. Uh, there's so much great, great history. And a lot of those people are gone now, but they're going to be remembered forever. And all you can do is keep your memories and embrace it. And you will make new memories, right, Lorenzo? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, Vegas is... You know what? It's changed quite a bit, but uh, I'm a developer there working on a on a new non-gaming project that I think is going to be kind of a throwback to the past. It's going to honor it, but it's going to also kind of move forward into the future. And Lorenzo, when you're ready to make an announcement about it, I would love for you to give us your first interview. Yeah. Absolutely. Look forward to it. Sounds good. Lorenzo Dumani, right. thank you so much, sir. Have a good day and congratulations sure, on the changes coming to Vegas. King Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.